What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Eldrazi Tron right now. And I do believe that's going to be a keepable hand. We got an Eldrazi Temple. We got turn two threats. Let's see what our opponent is running here. Verdant Catacombs. All right. Likely going to get hit with a Thoughtseize. Blood Crypt. So Jund. Oh, Monastery Swift Spear. All right. A little bit speedy there. So, a uh, Jund Prowess build, perhaps? What do we want to start off with? We're going to start off with the Urza's Mine. Just because there's no reason to throw out the Temple. We'll let them debate which Tron build we have. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a Death Shadow build then. Or, well, maybe not Death Shadow, but they're focused on life total here. Verdant Catacombs may have been a little off. It looks like they're going to be... Is that Mardu Colors? Reality Smasher for later. Nice. And we'll throw out the Matter Reshaper. So they could kill this, in which case, hopefully we get a land off the top. Uh, that'll give us a, a reality smasher for next turn. This guy does get bigger every time he deals damage, so got to watch out for him. Okay, going for a dismember. Not the best, but we'll take it. All right, they're going to swing in for five. We'll play a tower. And go for the Mattery Shaper here. Um, not too many other moves. We're going to be looking to block again. We'll probably get the Reality Smasher next turn. But taking seven, yeah. I don't like taking seven. We got a Monastery Swift Spear. All right. They're going to look at our top card before deciding whether they want to kill the Reshaper or not. So that's interesting. He got a Fatal Push, which... Means we're likely not getting anything effective here. Yep. And a Kroxa. Yeah, we are not doing good. Alright, well, we'll give him a Maze Mind Tome. Yeah, because we can't afford to take the extra three here. I think we're going to be a little defensive. We'll start setting up as best we can for next turn. It It's unlikely we get there at this point. That's a um, pretty heavy hurdle to beat here. Uh, if he had gone a little bit lower on his life, I think he is a Death Shadow build. Just more the prowess Death Shadow, so the faster. Crux is interesting. 
Yep, we're going to pretty much be dead. Yeah, no, we're at one life. There's no uh, way we recover from this. So we'll swing in for a little bit of damage we can deal and concede. Uh, what we probably should have done would have been to have tried to get out the Congregate Creator, but I'm not really sure with this many cards in hand. Uh, we could have gotten Tron this turn, uh, had a full Tron, 8 mana, but I don't think we could have gotten rid of enough cards not to have died there. We would have had to have ditched our whole hand. So we will go to sideboard. And I think we'll take in some of these Warping Whales. All this dust seems pretty effective here. Walking Blista seems pretty effective here. Not as big on the dismembers. Maybe we'll go down one dismember. Yeah, we'll run it like that. Playing first should be very helpful. And that is going to be a keep. We've got turn one. Honestly, I think I'm going to go turn one temple and to expedition map just in case we get lucky to draw that second temple. Get that turn two thought not seer. Uh, we're building up to the blast zone. Blast zone is going to be pretty effective here. So yeah, turn one will be Expedition Map, turn two, Maze Mind Tome, turn three, Thought Not Seer, unless we get a second temple, in which case we go straight, straight for the Thought Not Seer and see what they're dealing with. Well, that's a little more tempting. Honestly, at this point, I think I'd rather have the Chalice on one. Because that's going to shut down some of their other plays. And then we get Thought Not Seer next turn. All right, they've got the Skyclave again. It's not big yet. So I think that's going to work out a little to our advantage here. We'll see how many uh, one drops we shut down next turn. I think they may have had a zero drop to play and then didn't play it before going to combat, but we'll find out. Well, that's pretty decent. All right, let's see what they got in that hand. A one drop, a three drop, two one drops. And a double strike. Well, we'll take the dismember. Unfortunately, if we block, they do draw a card. All right, so they got to land that turn. Okay, let's think this through. 
they're going to give something double strike here. So if I block this guy, they give this double strike. They deal three. This guy gets a little bit bigger. And they would kill both of our things. So they would let, actually get to let both of their things live if I did that. So with that being the case, they are going to get to draw a card though. We don't block. Hopefully that's the right call. And they hold on to their card. All right, that's decent. That'll be for next turn. Right? No, we're going to go for there a little bit of advantage here. So we're going to try and stall out with this. And we'll get the Maze Mine Tome out. Oh, I guess, no, it wouldn't have because they have the highest life total. I didn't think about that. It's a fair point. We'll block here. No, oh, double strike and trample. That's going to be a bit of damage. Probably should have double blocked. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, we'll leave that on top. And let's all is dust. And start swinging in for four. All right, there's a death shadow. And a second one.
All right, we'll get rid of that team of Battle Rage. That puts us in a decent spot here. We'll see what they want to hold back. All right, they get a Beaumont Carrier. So the way I think this is going to work is they need to hold back everything. If they attack, We need a land, right? All right, that's... Yeah, we'll leave that on top. No, this is rougher than I thought. So we can deal eight and we can get rid of two of their cards. This guy gets big though. And if they have a way to answer any threat, then we're just dead. So what I think we do is pass, honestly. Feels rough, but because they can draw something. Like that, that's pretty good. All right, so we'll get our missing Tron land, which is the power plant. Then we'll sacrifice Blast Zone. Then we block. And then they start redeploying with Death Shadow. Not quite what we were looking for there. So I think we're just in a rough spot. Yep, yeah, nope, we're just not doing good this game. Yep, 
We've got a block. They're going to get a card. They're going to play a main board Luris. That's not good for us. I think our only hope is to draw a Khan Liberated here, or Khan, sorry, Khan Great Creator here, which we did. So that's pretty good. We get to play it. And our best card here at four life. We have two options, worm coil engine. No, they'd, they'd outbeat a worm coil engine at this point. So we're gonna go for an ensnaring bridge. We're beyond the range of a lightning bolt. Walking Ballista is probably going to be our out here. Alright, so they either find their artifact destruction or we walking ballista. Hopefully for lethal. That's actually a really timely scoop because I don't actually think we had lethal here. I think we were a, uh, <laughs> a point short of lethal, so he was going to have another chance to find his artifact destruction. But we'll take it. Nice. So Karn coming in cl clutch at the end there. Um, that was literally, we top deck for the wind. It was close though. All right. So with all their running, all his deaths is our best card. Chalice of the Void is definitely help helpful. They are Death Shadow. I still like everything in the sideboard, so we'll keep it. We'll keep the build the same. They're going to be on the play, which is a little rough. We really want either a Tron hand into Khan or really aggro hand, which if this had lands would be very nice. And that just, you know, that Thought Not Seer and that Warping Whale being Eldrazi Temple, Eldrazi Temple. But no, one lander, we can't keep that. But I'll keep Tron. Yeah. I don't think we need that waste. We may be a little on the slow side here, but we'll find out. Readjust that camera. 
Targeting themselves, interesting. And a Beaumont carrier. All right, early start for them. That is protected from our all is dust. So hopefully they're not gonna have artifact destruction here. It's interesting to see Beaumont Courier uh, main board in a deck again. I used to run it uh, back when it first came out in an, in an affinity build. So nice to see it make its way back into modern. It fell out of affinity. It was so sometimes put in, but kind of uh, ginger brute took its place. All right, they found their second land. It'd be interesting to see what they take here, either the Walking Blister or the Thought Knot Seer. They kept an, a rough hand. All right, so they're going to go for the way to protect Beaumont Courier, pretty much. We'll grab our missing Tron land. Tron assembled. Very nice. That not Seer. We'll take one of these Skyclaves away. And Chalice on one. So he's got a choice here and he's just gonna scoop up. Nice, so we actually got there in the end. Um, this, that second game was rough, but, you know, Karn came in clutch. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the matchup. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.